Another piece of storage containers that we have are these here. This is a biohazardous sharps bin. In a biohazardous sharps bin, any sharps that have touched uh, bacteria go in here for proper disposal. Now then, an example. This here is a broken test tube, and it has something in it, we don't know what, so we're going to assume that it's contaminated. Whenever we're dealing with broken glass, you as the student do not touch broken glass. Your TA, instructor, or myself handles the broken glass. Whenever you're dealing with broken glass, you never want to use a gloved hand or a hand at all. You want to use, uh, I'm going to be using a pair of uh, tweezers today because this is a small piece of glass, or a pair of tongs. For glass that has shattered on the desk, we do have a dustpan and broom that we can use to sweep the glass pieces into the dustpan and then put it up here in our biohazardous uh, sharps, my broken glass bin. We do have a formal sharps bin for things like razor blades, also under the biological safety cabinet and at the back of each room. And we also have uh, a box of non uh, biohazardous sharps uh, and non-biohazardous broken glass in the autoclave room. To remove something of this nature, using your tweezers, you want to pick it up carefully and bring it over to your biohazard bin and simply drop it in. 